Okay, we are driving over to the barn to see the roof. Um, they finished the front half of the new roof yesterday. Uh, Kevin was lucky enough to be there when they finished it, uh, but I haven't seen it yet. So we're gonna drive over and see it. I've had a moment. I really wanted to do wrap the barn in wood almost from the beginning because it's yeah. just, it's original. But looking at the tin on the roof, I had a moment yesterday, I said to Kevin, I'm like, um, maybe we should wrap it, the whole thing in tin. It just looks so clean and pretty and whatever. But we're sticking to our guns, the board and the batten. She's sticking to her guns. I'd rather wrap it in tin. <laughs> I'm sticking to my guns. It was meant to be board and batten. So, okay, I'll show you when we get there. My name is Krista and that is my husband, Kevin. We just embarked on restoring a 150 year old farmstead in Pennsylvania that was in my husband's family for three generations. We're starting our restoration with the barn that was basically falling down when we started. We still have a long way to go, but as we stumble through this restoration, we are sharing this journey and learning together as we work to restore our future home at Sawmill Ridge Heritage Farm. Okay, we are at the barn. The front half of the roof is done and um, looks great. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, this part has been really hard for me because um, when that roof was tore off, all of a sudden I was like, what do we do? Uh, it just, it didn't feel like there was anything left after the roof. there wasn't much left. Well, but I mean like the bones were what we were always trying to save and then we just kept finding more and more problems. Broken bones. With broken a lot bones. Of, a lot of broken bones. Yeah. So um, they had to patch up quite a few of the big supporting yeah. beams in this barn. And then there's, there's so much more that needs replaced or patched or sistered or something. I mean. It felt so overwhelming. Yeah. Um, the good news is, first of all, Sam and Andy are amazing and they just, they just did it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> there was no part of them that was like, oh, what did you do? They were just like, all right, we'll fix it. And they did. And that was yeah, great. It doesn't even phase them. I, I'm, you know, things that I look at it in here and I'm like, well, what, what, what are we going to do? Yeah. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it. <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty cool, you know, to have skilled labor like that. So Absolutely. And a lot of the purlins that were up on the um, ceiling that, that the um, roof was screwed down to, they were just rotten and in pieces. And honestly, there's a lot of um, the bones that have rotten spots that super overwhelm me. Yeah, I, I wish we could, I wish showing you on the camera you, that you could really get the gist, which you can't, because even from here with the naked eye, like I'm looking at one right now that you can tell the roof must have had a leak and it, it ran down the rafter and now it's got this one main header beam. Looks like it's got a rotten spot in the middle of it, you know, and it, it's it's literally right in the middle of the biggest header on the biggest door opening in the entire barn. So it has to be fixed. It has to be super strong because, you know, it's that, that's like one of the main bones of the whole barn. Yeah. The thing that changed my mind about like, oh, it's going to be okay, was just that um, now we are fixing the roof. We are going to rewrap this building. So those areas that were starting to rot aren't going to continue to rot. Now they're going to be protected from the elements. Well, when, once we repair them, they'll be okay. Well, I know, but what I mean is it's not like the, they have to stand withstand the weather for another 150 years. Yeah. That part's done. Yeah. They, they've... He's done his time, and now we'll protect him from the elements. So um, it's not that they won't continue to um, be beat down, but not by the weather. Right, right. So it's cold today. You can see our breath. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a balmy 26, I think. Yeah. It's a it's a wake-up call. The winter is definitely coming. It's here. That's not here yet. Uh-huh. We still call this fall. Right, tell my chili toes <laughs> Well, it's very exciting. I'm excited. They'll be back um, tomorrow, uh, and they'll start working on the back side of the roof. Um, yeah. So, let me count. They had three days in the front, right? Mm-hmm. So they only have two days left this week to work. So, 
I, we'll see. The back's a little different. Plus, they have the ridge cap to do as well. So well, and we were able to rent uh, or borrow a, a lift from our friends. So yeah. maybe that will speed up the process for them if we have the lift on hand, um, which has been super handy even for the work that we did. Mm -hmm. So it makes the job a lot shorter. Although they don't have any problem climbing a ladder. They, I, I we should explain like how they got the tin up because I was just amazed. They. I was watching yesterday. It's just a rope system, and um, what pair, do they? Pair of flat nose vice grips. Yeah, flat nose vice grips. On, okay. On a, with a wing, with a ring welded to the adjuster knob. And they pull it up rope. to the top, and those guys yeah. are standing up there. They were not attached to the roof in any not way. Tied off. And he's just pulling it up and throws it up on the roof and just climbs up like a dang monkey. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely insane. I get nervous walking on these floors and there we're walking on the, the rotten rafters like it was nothing. So mm -hmm. just wild. Yeah. Feel really lucky to have met them and have them working with us. For sure. So, okay. We will show you the backside of the roof when it is done. Thanks for watching. Take care.